G'day, welcome back to Dad vs. Son. We're going on again and again and again with Combat Commander Europe. And we are playing Scenario 3, Bonfire of the NKVD. So, this is played on Map 3. And let's have a look at what we've got here. Ta -da! So, we're still in 1941. There we go. Okay, situation is, outside of Brest-Litovsk, June 24, 1941, a Soviet Ford CP belonging to the retreating 133rd Infantry Regiment is to be abandoned by noon, but not before all communications equipment is smashed and documents burned, including detailed plans of much of the frontier fortifications in and around Brest-Litovsk, several miles to the east. A battered company of Russian militia must halt the German juggernaut long enough to effect a withdrawal to the relative safety of the Brest-Livotsk citadel. So the VP marker starts here in the 20 on the Allied side. The time is zero with sudden death at seven. The Allies are green and have four orders per go and are defending and the Axis are aligned with three orders per go and are attacking, and the Germans have the initiative. The only objective chits at the moment are Q, R and S. And as you can see, uh, objective five is worth 15, 16 points, and the other four are worth one each, which brings us to the grand total of 20. Uh, okay, the Allies hold all of the objectives. The Allies will set up first 12 hexes deep, and of course the Russians are coming from the east, and the Germans will set up from the west in the first three hexes. Well, it says, yeah, the first three hexes deep. Righto, let's have a look at our people. So the Russians have Captain Egorov, and he must set up in N5, which is <gasps> Objective 5. So we'll have a look over there. Ta -da! I've put him there. That's where he must set up. They also have Sergeant Maisky, Corporal Gordov, 10 militia, one green team, one medium machine gun and one light machine gun. They also have 10 wire that they can put out after the Germans have deployed. The Germans have Lieutenant Schrader, who's an old friend of ours, Sergeant Gans, who's been around the block a couple of times. They have six rifle squads, one weapons team, a heavy machine gun and three light machine guns. The Germans will surrender at 7 and the Russians at 10. Righto, so um, we don't use objectives V, W and X, so I need to remove them anyway. Uh, special rule number 4 is that the Germans start with sappers, so they'll get this card, 65, so they can destroy uh, fortifications. And of course the... Axis takes the first turn. So, usual thing, I will set them up. I might, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the Russians, then I'll set up the Germans, then I'll set up the wire. And I'll come back in between because this map has a lot of stuff on it and um, it may take a little bit. Righto, won't be long. Rightio. So I've set out the Russians, and my cunning plan is, as we said, Captain Everov has to set up over here. So what I've done is I've given him uh, the green team with the light machine gun to give them a little bit of range. But this is a relatively closed-in area as well. So I've given him... Whoops, it's out a bit far. One, two... Sorry, there is where I wanted him. Uh, I've given him one, two, three militia here, four here. So they're all in his um, command radius to try and protect the main 
thing. Secondly, I have put Sergeant Maisky out here to help protect one and two, and I've given him four militia. So they're up here in the forest, um, just seeing what's going on. And that also means that they can cover this area down in here as well. Lastly, I've got Corporal Gordov with them, a militia and a medium machine gun here. So we have fire down this way, we have fire up this way, and he gets to cover all this as well. And I've given him another militia in his building, and this is objective four. So the only objective I haven't tried to cover is three over here. Um, and that's just a uh, an objective too far, considering that the Germans can set up <laughs> right in there if they want to, and it's their go first. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I will set out the Germans and the wire, and then I'll come back and you can have another giggle. Okay, won't be long. Rightio. So what I've got is basically I have a primary assault platoon um, and a more of a holding platoon. So the primary assault platoon is here with Sergeant Gans, and I've given him one, two, three, four rifle squads, the weapons team, and three light machine guns. Okay. And Lieutenant Schrader has two rifle squads and the HMG. So, um, straight up, Lieutenant Schrader has taken control of... Number three, so we lose one, he gains one. So we're down to 18 VPs. Wire. So I've placed wire in the tree line here. Okay. Now that gives the Germans a free run all the way up to here. But if they want to come through to my people, they're going to end up in the wire, which is going to reduce their firepower and is also going to reduce their cover. Okay, it's also going to reduce their morale. Because remember, my militia only have a range of two. Um, they're not all that bloody great. So this is to protect my people. So if they want to sweep down this way, then they can. But then what we have here is the secondary wire, which goes from the bottom of the map, the southern edge, up through these fields, through this copse, through the brush and so forth with one last one here. So again, that is to stop people coming up so I can get a shot at them with the medium machine gun in basically most of this area um, and funnel them up through the clear area so that uh, we've got them in the open. If they get through all this and get up into here, then... There's not much I can do about it. So that is my cunning plan. Um, I could have brought the light machine gun forward, but realistically, I think I'm going to need it there to give a little bit of cover to these guys if uh, the Germans get that far. So that is the plan. So let's come over here. Uh, Germans are attacking, so they get five more cards. One, two, three, four, five, because remember they have card 65 already in their hand. And the Russians get four cards. One, two, three, four. And the Germans are first. Okay, so on top of their fire card, 65, they have received artillery denied, which is totally useless to them. Another fire, which is wonderful. A recover, which is always wonderful. Another fire, and another fire. Um, which means that they've got four fire cards, uh, recover, and an artillery denied, and they can't move anywhere. So we're going to get rid of... Oh, God, I... We have to move before we can do anything. So I'm actually going to get rid of this artillery denied, but I'm also going to get rid of one fire card. That's as horrible as that sounds, because I need moves and advances. Okay, 
Russians have a move, a fire, a route, and an advance, which is the hand that the Germans really wanted. Okay. So, at the moment, we don't really want to advance. There's nothing to root. Haha. <laughs> route. Nobody's rooted yet, so they don't need routing. Um, there's nobody to fire at at the moment. But what I might do is just to give us a bit more of a... Uh, I don't really want to do that either. Okay, I'm going to get rid of route and I'm going to get rid of move and I'm going to keep fire and advance. Why am I keeping advance? Because once they get, if they come up into this wire, then maybe I'm going to advance in and have a go at them. That's all. Right up. Germans, three fires, a recover, a move and a fire. Yay. Okay. So they're going to move. Ta-da. Um, and they are going to activate Sergeant Gans here. And this light machine gun is going to move first. And he is going to go. Let me get this right. I don't want to screw everything up as usual. Okay, into the brush. Okay, so he goes one, two, three. There is still no line of sight to him. And he will go four to there. This rifle will go two, four to here. Sergeant Gans and his mob will go two, four to here. And this last one will go two, four to here. Okay, like that. Then what's going to happen is Sergeant Gans is going to throw smoke. So this is where they're going to try and hopefully get advances and so forth and be able to punch through. He's going to throw the smoke here. And it is for six, which is pretty damned fine. And just so I hopefully don't keep forgetting them this time, I've got a little smoke marker. Look at that. So it stands out a little bit. And then if we end up with fires, I've got little blaze markers so they stand out hopefully as well. Okay. Right. So that's what they've got so far. Um, so they have two fires left and a recover and another fire with their demolitions. So this is why when they move into here, hopefully they can uh, maybe get rid of a wire to give them a punch through. Okay. So that's it. They can't do anything else at the moment. Make two cards back for them. And we are up to the Russians who have an advance, a fire, a move, and a move. Right. So we could do a cheeky. Okay, we could try and push these people forward if we wanted to and try and take these out. Or we could just forget about them and bring these back up as another blocking force into here so that um, if this mob wants to move forward, they can, but they can only move a maximum of four anyway. So they're going to have to come through here and then we can blow the poo out of them. So what do I want to do? Trouble is the militia only move three as well. <laughs> they're a pain in the bum. Okay, what I am going to do is, I don't want to advance, or do I? No, no, I'm going to get rid of 
one move. And I'm actually going to get rid of the crossfire. Now, I know that's a bit silly, but I want to keep the spray fire so I can hit more than one hex if need be. So that's my reasoning for that. Okay, back to the Germans. Three fires, one recover, four fires, five fires, <laughs> and they've got nothing to fire with. Sheesh. Okay. So we're going to get rid of a light wounds fire and we are going to get rid of a we're going to get rid of an ambush fire because we have one more of them and we have a no quarter fire so if we can get in there and win a melee that's worth an extra two vps to us so that's why we're doing that it just goes against the grain, having to get rid of fire cards, especially fires with ambush on them. Okay, so the Russians have advanced, fire, move, and artillery denied. Yay! <clears throat> but at least they have the boar sighting on it, um, which is printed firepower of five or more, which is only the medium machine gun. Okay, and I'm not going to hold it for that for the time being. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get another card. Germans picked up a route and a move. Okay. This time I think they want to move. But do they want to move everyone? Okay. So we are going to move. And what we're going to do is we are going to move... We are going to do what we said we we're going to do. So we have wire and we have smoke. And we are going to move Sergeant Gans and his people straight into here like that. That's the first move. Okay, Russians have one fire action. Order, action, and they're going to use it. So that, oh, are they? Are they really? <sighs> yes, they are. Okay, so they are going to fire. And they're going to use that. So they're firing into here. Um, they're activating Sergeant Maskey, so it's all these. And he says, this bloke is six, and this bloke is seven, this bloke is eight, into here, plus eight is 16. Okay. Minus six is 10 because of the hindrance. Okay, so this guy is seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, yeah, he is 11 plus 6 is 17, which is fine, this guy is 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10, and 17, so he's fine, no he's not, he lost by 1. No, we're not. We only got 12. 10, dickhead. Okay, and this guy, sorry, is uh, 7, 8, 9. And he's fine. And the event is suppressing fire. Suppress one enemy unit in a hex within both range and line of sight of a friendly machine gun. So what we will do is we will suppress this guy. We 
with this guy? If we suppress him, we lose one. If we suppress him, that offsets him. Yep, that'll do. Like that. Righto. So the next thing that is going to move is going to be... Do they want to move any further is the question, and they can't unless they go up or down. So they could sort of come up and punch around, but I don't think they will. So this guy is going into the wire up here. And that's cheeky because this is the only bloke that can shoot at him. So he's firing for five up there. Um, and we're actually going to, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So we have five plus two. So this is the only one firing. There is no machine gun firing. So it's a whole seven against nine, eight. So he's fine. And the sniper hits at J5, which is here, and does nothing. Right, next bloke to move is this rifle here, who's going to go two, four into there. So again, we're going to fire. So we'll call this one five, six, seven into there. Um, ba -bum -bum -ba. So we have seven and seven is 14. And he is sitting there for six, seven, eight. And four is 12. And Sniper hits at K5 this time, which is here. And wings my militia in the brush there. This guy here is hit. Like that. And then this is the last bloke who can move. And he is going to jump into the wire here. Okay, so this is the only guy that can shoot at him. So shooting for five. Plus eight is 13. And he's sitting there for nine. And six is 15. And G9, which is down here. Sniper hits the wire. It goes, ting! Or it's that Irish bloke, you know, ricochet. Rightio. So they have moved. That's their first order. Okay, dokie. They cannot fire with any of these. These have no line of sight to anything. So that's it. Unless they route themselves, which would get this bloke maybe out of problems. So they're going to do that. They're going to route themselves. So this bloke is six, seven, eight. So they want a 9 or better, and they get a 12. So he's going to go 6, 7, 8, and he's going to go back 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. We go up to time 1. We get 1 VP for the Russians, and we shuffle up the German cards. Right -o. Now, do the Germans have a dig in? No, they don't. And the Russians do not have a dig in either. There is no body to come on. There is only one smoke to remove, so we shall remove that. Uh, smoke, go. Okay. And that is all the Germans can do. So, two new cards for them. And we have the Russians who have an advance, a move, and a light wounds, a, a command confusion. Right. Okay, let's do it. We're going to advance. 
So we're going to activate Sergeant Maisky here. And we're going to advance this man into here. We're going to advance this man into here. We're going to advance this man to here. And these two little gentlemen are going to stay right here, like that. And then the Germans are going to say that they have one ambush. So these are exactly the same. So they're going to ambush which one? Which one do they want to ambush? And I think they want to ambush this one so they can get around behind. Oops. Like that. Okay, so the German is sitting here for four. Plus seven is 11. And we are sitting here for one. And seven is eight. And the event is air support. Determine a random hex. You may break all units in the occupied hex closest to that hex. And the random hex is N6. And N6 is here. And I don't want to break any of them because that's <laughs> right over here by my people, not his. Okay, so we die. And he gets two VPs. So Russians are down to 17. Then we have this one. And they are four and we are four. And they have no ambush left. So they get four plus six is ten. And a sniper at G9. And G9 is down here and it pings off the wire again. And we have four plus six is ten. So everybody dies. <coughs> But the Germans go, hang on a bit. No, I don't want to die yet. Redraw it, you bastard. So we do, and we get seven. <laughs> so they ended up worse off. But anyway, it was a 50-50. And it's interrogation, so we can look at one of the German cards and get rid of it. So win one, lose one. Unrucky. So two points back. For us, the Germans will use their no quarter that they were going to use, so that gets them another two VP. So they go back to 17 again. Um, so that's gone, and now we get to look at their cards. And they have fire, route, route, recover. Ooh, I don't care, so I'm going to get rid of their fire. Okay, so we have advanced. That was our first. And now we have a command confusion and a move that we can use. Okay, so we are going to move. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little gentleman here and he's going to move for one to there and that's simply to get rid of the card okay so Russians get three cards and we're back to the Germans who have one recover and two routes and that's it they have one unit to recover but do they want to do that at the moment? They don't want to use the routes to route anything. Well, I suppose they could route my man here, and if they're lucky, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and he's gone, and at least at least he gets rid of one card. So they are going to do it. Just hang on the tick. I'm happy. Rightio. So they can try and route my militia here. So he's sitting there for four. And they get nine. So that's five. And he goes, one, two, three, four, gone. 
and they get another two BPs. So we're down to 15 now. Right, and that is that. And they get one, two, three, four cards, and we'll stop it there. So that's the end of the first video. So in the first video, the Russians have lost two militia, uh, two militia squads. The Germans have lost a rifle squad. Um, and they've got a broken rifle squad over here. They're into my wire. But they can actually come around now and flank me. So uh, I've got to start watching for that. Rightio. So thanks for watching. Um, and I will catch you soon with the next exciting episode of Bonfire of the NKVD. Righto. Bye for now.